Hey guys, Common Sense Outdoorsman here. I want to talk about another aspect of making great feather sticks, and that is the blade edge. And sometimes the blade grind is a part of that. And there's a lot of confusing terms here, and it's hard to draw pictures of different edges and different grinds. Unless you're really into knives and you're into all this stuff, it's a little difficult to understand. I'm going to try to keep it simple, but some of the two best grinds for making feather sticks, I think, are the Scandi grind, which is this first one, and a convex grind. Now, this is the flat of the knife, and then here's the grind or the edge so to speak and like I said it, it can get confusing but just to keep it simple this is like this scandy grind is like a big V edge and the convex is similar but except the edges being straight they're curved convexed okay and the convex grind can add a little more strength to the tip than a scandy grind does to make it simple now Morris Kohansky um, he likes the Scandi grind, and I like the Scandi grind. I, I think I like both of these, Scandi and Convex. They both have pluses and minuses. And I just, Morse Kahansky said, hey, just get a Scandi grind knife, and I kind of, to make it simple, and I kind of agree with him. And here's what you do if you have a knife and you're having trouble making good feathers, <coughs> oh, excuse me. You're having trouble making new feathers, go out and buy one of these. Just spend the 20 bucks or whatever it is. They used to be used to be able to get these more companions for like 10, 12 bucks. Now, you know, there's a lot of inflation going on for certain reasons. Um, but <laughs> just get a more companion. If you want to know what it feels like to make good feather sticks, get a more companion. That's a Scandi grind. You can look at it. Now, some of the Scandi grinds, they they say they, they call them zero Scandies. In other words, the, the apex, the tip of that edge, comes to a complete apex, a sharp point. Now, the Morris put a little secondary, minute secondary bevel on that edge, and I kind of like that for the Morris. It, kinda, it gives it some strength, and it still works well, just like a Scandi, but it gives it a little extra strength. And what that is, real quick... And again, sorry for these terrible diagrams, but on the top of this edge, instead of coming to a complete zero point, it, it would just be where you just make a little secondary bevel on that. Just go bloop, bloop, and just a tiny little extra bevel, and that'll, I don't want to mess up my picture, and that'll give it some extra strength. So it's a, just a little secondary bevel, and you can do that ever so slightly sometimes just with a few swipes of a ceramic rod so nothing extreme but just something very easy and Mora does that on their companion so get a Mora companion go add some feather sticks and you'll see the difference of what a Scandi edge will do you may be struggling with some hollow grinds some saber grinds there's all kinds of different grinds but just do that with a Mora companion and you'll understand what can make excellent feather sticks now <clears throat> these knives, these martini knives, they have, they just have the smallest of that secondary bevel on this Scandi grind. Very, very tiny. And if it doesn't, usually I'm going to put it on there. Same for my, where's my knife I did a video on? Uh, may not be in here. I don't know, I don't see it here. It may be in the house. But, um... I had another knife, that Kudeman knife, that came with a true zero grind Scandi, and I put a little tiny uh, secondary bevel on there. That helped out. You may have, you know, you can do it with whatever. This is a hollow grind knife, this Puma knife, that's got a hollow grind with a, with a secondary beveled edge, and this is, you know, this kind of uh, edge is, and hollow grind is usually for hunting. But you can make that, you can sharpen that and take care of that edge. So it'll be good for feather sticks, okay? In other words, and I'm going to exaggerate this drawing. Um, if you have a hollow grind, 
Uh, let's say this is the blade flat, okay? The hollow grind is going to be something like this, okay? And then it's going to have the edge on the end like that. That's a crappy drawing, okay? But usually this edge, because it's made for hunting, this hollow grind is going to be fat, and that's not going to be slender like this nice big Scandi grind. So that fat edge, secondary bevel on the uh, hollow grind, that's a terrible drawing, sorry about that, is, is really it is going to give you too much of a shoulder and it's going to give you a problem with feathers. You can take that shoulder down with some sharpening and it'll work fine for feathers, but the Scandi and the Convex grind are the best, and even a combination of these two is called, called Scandivex. In other words, you've got a Scandi edge here, but you kind of round off that bevel at the tip, and it uh, gives it a little extra strength. They call it a Scandivex. Excellent for, again, excellent for making feathers. So that's another important part. We could even go on. Look, you could make feathers with a chisel grind, okay? Let me show you real quick. And again, excuse my horrible drawing. But so the one edge, the one side is going to come straight up, and then you just have the cutting edges just on the one side. So if you're right handed, okay, and this is on the inside, in other words, if I'm, this is my stick, and I'm feather sticking like this the inside edge towards the stick would be this part of a chisel grind, okay? And you could still peel off some nice feathers and the feathers are gonna curl off the chiseled edge there. And you could set that up and you can make feathers with a, with a chisel edge. It might dig in a little too deep on this side and you might get, you know, you take bite off too much than you can chew but you could do it with a chisel grind and so many other grinds that I don't want to get into but the bottom line is if you want to learn what a good feather sticking grind is get a more companion uh, get a Scandi grind it's a common grind and start working feathers with that and you'll start to learn what it takes to make good feathers but that's another part of making good feather sticks the uh, grind and the edge Scandi grind, excellent. Convex, Scandivex, excellent. And you can do it with so many. I won't go over them all. You can do it with so many other grinds, but it just has to be a fine enough grind. You can even uh, go asymmetrical, and I do that on my when I'm. I like I like a Scandivex. Okay, let's look at the convex grind here. I'll have something like this, but I'll have a rounded tip, and that's because I sharpen my knives on the stone by hand and I can't get a perfect straight edge so it's going to end up being some kind of a Scandivex type of grind and um, that works pretty good because if that's the way you sharpen your knives and you're sharpening freehand you're going to end up with some kind of a Scandivex edge anyways okay so that's my preferred edge because that's what I naturally sharpen it to that's not what the Mora comes with, but that's the place to start, the Mora Companion. Buy one, okay? Um, and so what I do is, as I'm grinding my Scandivex grind, if I'm doing it by hand, my stick side, the side towards the, the material, I'm going to make this angle slighter than this side. This side will be rounder. And this side will be straighter because I want to dig in on this side and I want to peel off the curls on this side. So that's kind of a custom edge for me, the way I sharpen by hand. Okay, that would be asymmetrical. Uh, once you start getting into sharpening and you learn to sharpen and you learn about customizing your edges, that's another possibility on something that you can do for making good uh, feather sticks. Guys, I don't want to make this too long of a video. Here's another martini the rapala hunting knife it's got a nice scandy edge on that with just the slightest of a secondary bevel on that edge for strength works great um this knife the uh miguel nieto knife is a hollow ground knife but it has my custom uh asymmetrical edge on it this side is fatter my wood side which would be this side that's going to be against the material 
has a less steeper edge, so that's going to be able to carve off those feathers for me. And I can make fine feather sticks with this hollow grind knife. But that's just something you learn in time on how you like your special edge for making good feather sticks. So that's the other important aspect. Guys, you got to have the right sharp edge on your knife to make excellent feather sticks. Okay, so good luck with that. Buy a Mora Companion, try it out, inexpensive knife, and try that Scandi Grind. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope I didn't confuse you. We'll talk to you later. Bye.